Nova, guess what? I have a very interesting piece of info. Hey, text me back. I want to tell you something. Hey, Nova. Oh, hi, Ava. You sound peppy today. I have good news. One that you shouldn't miss as a housewife. That's what you said the other day, too. That was useful information, wasn't it? I hope you're thankful to me for that. It wasn't all that useful. Everyone knew about it already. They did? Well, this one's different. I heard it from Mia, you know, our mom friend. You know that humongous supermarket in the next town over? The next town? Yeah, you know, that famous one in Europe. They finally opened a store in the US, and apparently they're really cheap. Oh yeah? See? I knew you didn't know about this. Well, it's not that I didn't know. Everything they sell is huge and in big quantities. Cakes, juice, you name it. Everything is gigantic. I don't need everything to be that big. And they even sell clothes and electronics and bicycles and even cars. It's not a supermarket anymore. Don't you just love that everything's cheap? It's really helpful for people who are not rich. Look at you. You really like this place, huh? Don't you want to go? Not really. Oh, come on, I know you want to go. Is this what you wanted to talk about? I'm kind of busy, you know. Hey, this is useful information. At least show some interest. If you want to go that bad, just go. I'm happy if I can just buy what I need. I want to go, but you need to be a member to get in. Then get a membership. You need to have an existing member to invite you to get a membership. It wasn't like that at first, but apparently they changed it. They probably had to make that change because of people like you. Hey, I resent that. Oh? So, you see? It's not like I can just become a member and go. Okay, I get it. Bye now. Hey, don't go yet. This isn't the only thing I wanted to talk to you about. So, have you ever been to that supermarket? Yes. You have? Why didn't you tell me? Because you never asked me. So, you are a member then? Yes. Then, can I borrow your membership card? You don't want me to invite you, you just want my card? Yeah, why do I need to bother becoming a member when I can just borrow your membership card? I see. No, I'm not going to let you use my card. Why not? Don't use my card and pretend you are me in the store, because I know you're going to do more than use my card for shopping. Oh, you're getting good. Yeah, I'm not going to pay for the stuff I want. So you're going to make me pay for your stuff? Bingo! Smart lady! Hell no. You know, you never pay when we all go out to lunch. You didn't even pay for your drink the other day. A drink? At least pay for a freaking drink. Yeah, I'll pay you back next time I see you. Don't make me sound like I'm a thief. Then pay for your own thing. If you pay me back for what you owe me, then I might consider letting you use my membership card. Gosh, you just can't let go of the small stuff, can you? You need to have a big heart, you know. Be more generous, like me. You don't have a big heart. You have a big body. Have you ever noticed that? How rude. A week later. Hey, Nova. I really can't talk to you now. Oh, I think you can. So, you didn't pay me back again when we met yesterday. I will next time. How many times are you going to use that excuse? So, guess what I got? You're going to be so surprised. What is it? Your membership card for that supermarket. Your kid had it and was playing with it. And you know kids. They always drop things. So, I'm going to use it later. You're going to use my membership card? Yep, yep. You'll have to pay for this. The next day. I'm in line at the cashier and I just realized I forgot my wallet. I want to buy electronics too. Can you lend me like five grand? Oops. <laughs> Don't oops me. Just bring me your money. Um, no. Why would I bring you money? Are you sure? You're all cool about it, but you do realize that I'm using your card, right? Yeah, I don't need the card anymore. That's why I gave it to my kid. Why don't you need it anymore? I just buy whatever I need. I don't need everything to be huge and in big quantities. That's why I canceled my membership. But they let me in with your membership card. Yeah, they never really check. 
So much for the membership, huh? Anyway, so I'm in the store as you, so the store will think it's you shopping. They can think whatever they want, but I'm no longer a member and I don't think it's that big of a deal who they let in. It's not? I thought you'd know that of all people, misuseful information. I guess I slip up from time to time. Anyway, just bring some money to me. All you have to do is bring me some cash. I don't have that much money with me. Then go to an ATM. No. Why would you go shopping when you know you can't pay for it? Are you crazy? No? How rude! I'm rude? I think what you're doing is ruder. Hurry! They've scanned all the items! I'm just waiting on you to pay! If they've scanned all the items, but you still haven't paid, they must have one of those semi-self-checkouts where you use a payment machine to confirm the amount and pay. It's nice not having to hand your cash or card directly to a cashier, isn't it? I don't care about the type of checkouts they have. What I do care about is money. I need money to pay for all this stuff. Why don't you return the items if you can't pay for them? You've got no shame. You can return them. No, I can't. Besides, I need all these things. Yeah, but no matter how bad you need them, you can't get them unless you have enough money to pay for them. Even kids know that. I know that too, but I have you. What does that mean? I have nothing to do with you. You're not my family. No, but I'm important to you. You and I go all the way back. We're good mom friends, aren't we? And you're asking your good mom friend to pay five grand for you? I don't need this. I don't need you, you know. Well, I need you, like now, so hurry. My husband's getting irritated. He said he's leaving. Sounds like he really wants to leave. Why don't you just return the items? Because I'm not coming. Why not? Just do what I say! Do you hear yourself? If you want me to pay, then pay me back for your lunch. I told you I'd pay you back! Just bring me five grand! Now! Hey! Say something! One hour later. Nova? Nova! Nova, Nova, Nova! Oh, hi. I was asleep. How dare you sleep while your friend is in trouble? Well, I'm not in trouble, and I can't help you with your stuff, so I really don't give a shit. My husband left me at the supermarket. It's all your fault. How is this my fault? Any husband would do the same if their wife did what you did. At least your husband seems to have common sense. How am I supposed to pay for all these things? I still have things I want to buy. You're still at the supermarket? And did you actually pay five grand? No, I'm waiting on you. I said I'm not coming. I've told you that many times. Jeez, do you ever listen to me? I wonder if I'll go viral if I take screenshots of your annoying texts and post them online. Should I? No. Oh, I think it'll be fun. If it goes viral, you'll be famous, Ava. Whatever. Just come here and pay for these and help me bring them back home. They're kicking me out soon. Interesting. Maybe they're kicking you out because you've been hogging the checkout machine. I wonder how much longer they'll let you stay. That'll be interesting to see. There's nothing interesting about that! All the customers are staring at me! Maybe someone will tweet about you. How fun would that be? Not fun at all! I'm so embarrassed! Everyone's looking at me because of you! Bring me the money now! Oh, a message from my husband. Oh no, he's pissed that I'm still not done shopping! So just return the items and go home for now. Then when you have five grand, go back and shop. No! There are some things here that my husband wants too. If I went home without those items, do you know how mad he would be? Oh, is your husband short-tempered? Oh my god, yes. He's so cunning and he can be so intimidating. Oh wow, I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yeah, I'm sorry for you. If you're that compassionate, Bring me the money! Money, money, money! Nah, I was just kidding about being sorry. You bitch! Oh, I gotta go. My husband's calling me. Two hours later. Nova, please read my text. Nova, don't ignore me! <laughs> You're so funny, Ava. I didn't know you were so cute. I'm not trying to be cute. Do you have any idea what I'm going through? Oh, what's happening now? Don't sound so excited! I'm in trouble! Of course I'm excited. You're doing all these foolish things. 
You want to know what's happening now? Now they've brought me to their back office. Uh-oh. Waiting for the police now? I said don't sound so excited about it. They were fed up with me holding up the checkout machine. So they took me back to their office and they asked me why I hadn't paid. So I told them that I forgot my money. And they told me that I should return the items. Yeah, just return them. Your husband knows that you're a bonehead. I mean, he married a bonehead, so I'm sure he'll accept this situation. You're calling me a bonehead? Yeah, and a moron. I'm not asking you to come up with different words. All I need is your money, but I'm in trouble because you're not here yet. My money? You mean five grand? Yes! Hold on, I'm getting a call from the supermarket. Let me get this. Bye. Ten minutes later. I'm back. Why did you tell them my phone number? I went into the store with your membership card, so of course I'm going to tell them your phone number. They told me I owe them five grand, but I told them that you were an imposter. Why would you tell them that? I told the store manager that you were paying the five grand. I also told the manager that you're this annoying mom friend. Annoying? Why would you say that? Because you are. I mean, look at what you're doing now. I talked to other moms about this situation, and they all said the same thing. Why would you tell everyone about this? Not paying me back for lunch, and now you want me to pay five grand? Forget it. What kind of con artist are you? I'm not a con artist! Obviously not, with a sloppy job like this. The store manager was saying he's going to have to call your husband, because this isn't going anywhere. What? No, they can't do that. Hurry, bring me the five grand. I don't need my husband. I need you and your money. How many times do I have to tell you? No. Jeez, you never give up, do you? I don't care. Just bring me the money. I need to take care of this before my husband gets here. If you really mean that, then you should have thought twice before you went shopping. How did you even convince him to go shopping for five grand worth of things? I told him that I got a five grand gift certificate from you. Wow, you were that desperate, huh? Yes, because I wanted these things. I like things. Yeah, but there are limits, you know. In any case, good luck. Your husband should be there at any time. Good luck. No, he's going to divorce me for real this time. What do you mean this time? You mean this wasn't your first time pulling a stunt like this? Well, no. What did you do? Um, I'd rather not. Even you sometimes hesitate to share stuff, huh? What do you mean, even you? What do you know about me? I know you're cold-blooded, like a reptile. Ugh, just bring me the money! All five thousand dollars, now! It's not like I owe you anything. Besides, I don't think that's the way to ask someone to lend you money. Oh, my husband's here. The next day. Nova! Ten minutes later. You're not bombarding me with your messages today. What's up? It's not like you. We're getting a divorce because of you. What? It's my fault? Yes! Wow, look at you. So energetic. My husband found out about the whole thing because you refused to bring me money. How is that my fault? You did this to yourself. My husband went to the supermarket and was yelled at by the store manager. We ended up returning all the items. Luckily, they didn't file a police report, but after we got home, he asked me to show him the gift certificate I said I got from you. What did you do? You had nothing to show because I never gave you one. He demanded explanations, so I just twisted the story, just a bit, but he untwisted it back and found out that I was just after your money. He made me admit that. Is your husband a detective or something? He didn't want anything to do with me anymore, so he took out the divorce papers and demanded my signature. Wow, so he had the papers ready. That's kind of spooky, in a way. I told you, he's cunning. But it's all your fault, you know. I mean, going on a shopping spree with money that's not yours? Who would do that? It's your fault! You're blaming me again, so what are you going to do now? Become a professional con artist? No! Right, you'd get caught so fast. He kicked me out of the house, so I went back to my parents' place, but they yelled at me too. Oh no. My husband is keeping our child. I think he'll do a better job being a parent than you. 
Do you have any idea what it's like to have your kid taken away? Yeah, but do you know how he will turn out living with a mom like you? And my husband's telling me that I'm the cause of this divorce, so he's demanding alimony. But you're unemployed, Ava. I'm a housewife. You've got no income. No, that's why I'm in big trouble. The alimony's 30 grand. He's also asking for a $300 child support every month. Oh wow, that's kind of harsh. I wanted to move back with my parents so I wouldn't have to pay the rent, but they didn't want me back. Your parents are something. I don't know what to do. Look how the queen has fallen. Help me! Yeah, but I'm a housewife also. There's nothing I can do. Let me crash at your place then! What a bold request. You know I can't let you do that. Why not? I just need a couch to sleep on. Instead of coming up with these crazy ideas, why don't you just find a live-in job? You have to pay your husband every month, right? I actually paid that off already by borrowing money from a consumer loan company. Oh my god, don't they have crazy high interest rates? You're digging your own grave, you know. He said I had to pay him back right away. Uh, okay, but I can't help you. You're on your own. It's your fault I'm in this shithole now. How could you be so cold? I hate you. Yeah, hate me. Whatever. I'm blocking you. I don't want to get involved with any of your shit. You cold bitch. Sometime later, Ava ended up landing a live-in job, but with her personality, it didn't take too long before she was fired. After she got fired, she went to a different part of the country, but I have no idea what she's up to now. And as for me, with Ava gone, my life is as peaceful as it can be.